How to find explicit pattern rule? I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss what is explicit pattern rule and how to find it. Let's start with input output machine. That is to say we have some input and for that input we get some output. And what we will do is we will write it in the form of a T chart or T table. So let us say that this input output machine works like if I put an input of 1 I get output of 4. If I put input of the next number 2 the output is 7. For 3 the output is 10. For 4 output is 13. For 5 output is 16 and so on. Now what we need to find is a pattern rule so that for any given input we can find the output. For that we use explicit pattern rule. Now explicit pattern rule tells you directly the output for any given input. right? So using explicit pattern rule you can directly find output directly from given input. So that is that is the purpose for explicit pattern rule. Well there is another way of finding the output and that is by using recursive formula. Recursive formula in this case will be you start at 4 and increase by 3 each time. So that way you can always find the next number. Problem with recursive formula is that if I want to know what should be the output for 100 as my input then I have to repeat this process 99 times, right? I have to find all previous 99 input output relations to get the hundredth and that is very time consuming and therefore explicit pattern rules have an advantage now the idea is how to find one okay for that we can look into the pattern once again we are starting at 4 we call this as our initial value initial value or starting number. So in our case the starting number is 4. And then what we see is how do we get the next number? We get the next number by adding 3, right? So every time if I add 3 I get the next output. So that we call is the difference between the two consecutive numbers, the numbers which come together in the output, right? So that is what we call as the difference, or rather common difference. So difference is constant, so we call it a difference or we say common difference. In our case, the common difference is 3. You will note that if I have to find the output for fourth input, in that case, how many 3's do I have to add? I have to add 3 3's, right? 1 less than 4. Correct? To find the fifth output, I have to add four threes, right? So that gives us the formula. The formula will be that the output of hundredth term, for example, will be how much? Let us say nth term. So we say output for nth term is equal to 
initial value or the starting value which is 4 in our case we will write general formula first initial value plus common difference times how many times is it multiplied n minus 1 1 less than n that gives us the formula so if I want to find the output for 100 as my input in that case for 100th turn my initial value is 4 we started at 4 plus common difference is 3 which needs to be added how many times 100 minus 1 99 times do you see that so we get 4 plus 3 times 99 and that gives us the answer which is 4 plus 3 times 99 is 300 3 times 100 minus 1 so 300 minus 3 correct which is 300 minus 3 is 297 and that gives us a value of 301 so for the hundredth input output should be 301 so that is how we can find the output using explicit formula right so that is a good way and a faster way of finding the output directly from the input in this case we do not have to calculate the 99 numbers in between I hope that helps. Thank you.